Hello, good morning to you and welcome to Business on News Desk. The Chamber of Mines has hailed the relocation of illegal miners from the Anglo Gold or Boise mine concession as a positive development for the economy. The Minerals Commission last month started the evacuation process towards regularizing the operations of the illegal miners. The miners initially resisted the move, especially following the deployment of a joint military and police force, but have now agreed to relocate to a newly designated site. Chief Executive of the Chamber, Suleiman Kony, tells Joy Business this is this couldn't have come at a better time. It is the way to go if they would comply with all the regulations which would make them be recognized as small scale miners. Why not? In any case, the company has actually relinquished that portion of, of its concession to government. The government has every right to reallocate. We collaborated with government. We actually served on the movement committee when we had an invitation from government to serve on the committee. We said, why not? We are here to help resolve issues pertaining to the mining industry. And although we're head so head, we actually we collaborated with government. And therefore, to know that this is happening, is, is a good thing for us, but we should just make sure that it doesn't happen again in our industry because sometimes when, when you retreat, the tendency is to give people the impression that you, you always would want to pander to, to people's whims and caprices, and it's not, it's not too good. Now, statistics show that um, uh, in 2000, only 500 individuals were worth a million dollars and above in Ghana. As of 2015, this had increased by over five times to about 2,700 and this is said to be the highest growth in the sub-Saharan African region by far. But exactly how are financial institutions capitalizing on this? Stambik Bank has in this light set up a wealth and investment unit to cater for the wealth needs of such high net worth clients with tailored financial solutions. Head of the division, Benjamin Mensah, explains to Joy Business their value proposition goes beyond banking solutions. Not a lot of banks in Ghana have set up such units that look at that segment of the market. I've done, and I think we're taking a leap where it's having a view of the client's long-term needs, okay? Having a view of preserving the client's um, earnings over time or his wealth over time. Have a view of helping the clients to build more wealth. It has a view of helping the client have a lifestyle that befits their status. And it has a view of ensuring that that client leaves a legacy, one, to his um, you know, kids or you know, uh, next of kin, and also to society. Um, and, and that construct we call the, the wealth quotient or our wealth philosophy. And that's all the business for now. Do we make a date again at midday for more business news updates. My name is Imano Abuaji. Yeah, have a great morning and keep watching. Thank <laughs> you.